At Pirie with Cemetery and Crematorium here today, we have had an open day to allow the general public uh, to come through and have a look around, see how we operate, what actually happens behind the scenes in a cemetery and crematorium. So it's been a very, very good turnout today. We have approximately 50,000 interments here at Pirewa. The first interment took place in, in 1889 and it was that of a 15 month old child, Louisa Boone. And followed on from that we do have a number of, uh, of politicians buried here at Pirewa, but probably the most notable would be Sir Robert Muldoon and uh, we do also now have his wife Lady Thea. Yeah, she's also buried here. Following on from that we have the infamous, i.e. Uh, Peter Plumley Walker. Uh, he was interred here a number of years ago. But we also do have uh, a lot of other um, notable figures that are buried here, uh, whether it be military, whether it be religious orders. Yeah, if, if we look at um, cremations uh, versus burial in New Zealand, over the last 20 to 30 years there hasn't been a huge change in, in, in the, 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 the burial cremation ratio, but at the moment in New Zealand now it is around about 80% cremation to 20% burial and that's been very, very similar over the last 20 years. Trends have changed uh, in, in my time working in this uh, industry for 36 years. Families are now looking at more personalised funerals. Uh, families are more um, uh, into the organising of, of funerals. Families will come here through to Purewa. They'll have a look around, see what we've actually got to offer here. We also now offer e-funeral live streaming where anybody anywhere in the world can actually watch a funeral live. Funerals tend to be more of a celebration of a person's life rather than a very, very sad occasion. And, and, and we, we um, embrace that um, as much as we possibly can. We work with families, we help them through the process. So we are here to offer as much as we possibly can to families to ensure that at the end of the day they have had the funeral that they would have dearly liked um, for their loved one that they've just recently lost.